Gentlemen, I want your facial hair to look its best at all times. So here is my men's guide to maintaining and trimming your facial hair, where you should do it, how you should do it, and why you should do it. Let's not waste any more time and let's begin. To start off the process, I'm going to rinse my face with lukewarm water and an optional step would also be to apply some shave oil. It's going to moisture your beard, which is going to make the shaving or trimming experience much more enjoyable and softer. I'm going to apply it firmly into my beard in order to get the product all into the beard and then I'll get started. I'm shaving or trimming my beard depending on the look that I want to achieve and I want to trim my beard for some of its length and this step that I'm about to do which is starting from the neckline you can either do with a normal razor or an electric trimmer depending on how you want to perform this step. To perform this step correctly you want to place your index finger right on top of your Adam apple and all of the hairs that are underneath your index finger are the ones that you want to remove. The reason being is that you want your beard to appear sharper and your jawline more chiseled and the way we achieve this look is to remove all of the excess hair on your neckline in order to hide some excess fat that you might have on your neckline that might make you look slightly chubby and heavier which we're going to avoid by removing this part of your beard. This next step you can either do with an electric trimmer or a razor and we're going to focus on the cheek line right here. What we want to accomplish in this step is to give our beard a more angular and structured look by removing hairs that might be on our cheeks to give our beard a more angular and sharper look. To trim some of the length of my beard, I'm going to attach the attachment number five that comes with the Philips One Day, which I frequently talk about being my electrical trimmer of use. The reason I use the attachment number five specifically is because I don't want my beard to be way too short i still want to maintain some of the length but still take a lot of the length off so it still looks like i have a full beard but it's recently trimmed and well kept what you want to focus on when trimming the length of your beard is to make sure that it's even in length all across your face and there's no irregularities or uneven length somewhere on your beard i want your beard to be even and look fresh and sharp to boost the look of your face and make your face look more symmetrical. I'm quickly going to rinse my face before proceeding to the next step which is going to involve the nose trimmer and we're going to stick that into our nose to remove some possible nose hairs that might be sticking out which is of course an issue. I don't want any nose hairs to poke out of your nose and be visible for others to see because that is pretty disgusting and we want to avoid that at all costs. So therefore this step is very important especially Especially if you might have some visible nose hairs. Grab yourself a pair of tweezers because we're going to look at your eyebrows. If you don't know where to begin, take something like a comb and line it up onto the corner of your eyelid and directly straight up to your nose. The goal here is to remove any small hairs that might be in between your eyebrows so you don't have a visible monobrow. And to make your eyebrows look less bushy if you have bushy eyebrows and to remove excess eyebrows that might go over the line that you made with your comb over to the corner of your eyelids so your eyebrows don't look way too long and unkept. This step is optional and only necessary if you have visible hairs out of your ears and you can once again reach for your nose trimmer and gently use it around your ears so you can easily erase and remove those small hairs that might be visible from your ears. We are now done taking care of our facial hair so what you want to do is to clean up with your skincare routine right Right after you're done taking care of your facial hair in order to clean up your face and take care of your beard by moisturizing and nourishing it and giving it what it needs to replenish and recover whilst taking care of your skin. Gentlemen, that was everything you need to know about your facial hair, where you should take care of it, how you should take care of it and why you should take care of it. Like the video if you enjoyed, if you learned something new and subscribe to the Men's Improve YouTube channel. Have an amazing day.